There is no place like home. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. Today's video, we're going to talk about home. Home. What is home? I'm going to tell you all about it, how to venture outside a little bit and come back home because there is no place like home. Grab your guitar. This is going to be interactive. I want you to participate to this uh, uh, thing, this video, and try these concepts for your own. Let's get started right after this. My name is David Wallman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players around the world find their unique voice on the instrument to tell their own personal musical story. And today we are talking about playing outside and venturing in areas that don't necessarily make sense, but that's okay because we're always going to go back home. So what is home? That's the first question. Home is made of all the notes that are part of the key that you're playing in. And that's going to depend, depend on the chords that you're playing over. In this particular example, we are working in the key of E Dorian, which is uh, stylistically speaking for this kind of uh, modern fusion jazz funk instrumental rock uh, genre, very, very useful. So that's what this backing track is made of. A single chord with some characteristic notes that will bring out the color of the Dorian mode. Again, you can use this concept for anything, any key, any style, it doesn't really matter. But that's what we're going to use today. And before we go further in this lesson, you can download this backing track and the PDF sheet that is going to help you make the most of this particular lesson. Okay, so we established that a home is made of all the notes that are part, in this case, of E Dorian. Let's go through these seven notes. There are seven notes that are going to be the home notes. I'll show you a quick close up, but um, keep in mind that the, the pattern that I'm using here is can be expanded. It really doesn't matter which area you're, the fretboard you're using, as long as you're using the seven notes of E Dorian. Here they are in the E position. So on, we're just on the 12th fret here. We're going to have three notes here. Uh, we have the, tw the frets 12, 14, 15. <laughs> On the next string, we have two notes, 12, 14. And on the next string, we have two notes, frets 13, uh, frets 11, 12. So seven notes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. These seven notes can be played in multiple areas of the fretboard. And that's where it really doesn't matter which area you're playing. As long as you're playing these seven notes, one of these seven notes, you're going to be home. It doesn't matter. They're going to bring you home to this uh, backing track. They're going to become one. So all the notes are going to work. All right, we're home. I can land on any of these notes. We're home. Right? They give you a sense of peace, a sense of becoming one with the backing track and the communication is really happening. Now, what is playing outside? Well, playing outside of the home, stepping outside is in essence playing any note that is not one of these seven notes, right? So that gives us multiple choices. Like I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to start playing in home and then land on a note that is not part of these seven and that's going to sound outside the home. not really home, you're outside. Outside again. Sounds pretty bad, right? So going outside doesn't uh, gives you the most peace, right? You're expecting something else, you're expecting to go back home. And that's why, typically speaking, uh, you see it in kids' books often. There is the beginning, and then something happens in the middle where you're kind of outside, and you can't leave the book like that. Your kids are going to want to hear the end. They want to bring the, the characters back home or the story to an end. Beginning, middle, end. And the middle is typically the most tense. Okay? 
Okay, so we established that. Now, um, that's not necessarily super helpful if you want to create something, a story, an experience that brings the listener from a safe place to an uncomfortable place and back in. You need something, some, some tools, right? And that's what this lesson is about. This lesson is about shapes, various shapes that I compiled for you in the PDF that are going to allow you to sometimes go outside. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the first shape. I'll show you a close up of that shape. Um, the, the shape that we're going to use here is this one. And you could start this anywhere you want, any fret, any string. But I'll start it right here on the fourth string, 14th fret. Could have started anywhere else. It doesn't matter. And that shape starts with the ring finger. So you got that note, which happens to be a home note. That's home, but that's irrelevant. And then we have uh, the, the second note of that shape is on the third string, 13th fret. And the third note of that shape is on the second string, 12th fret. We find that shape in a lot of different chords, but that's the shape that we're going to use. Now, before we go further, I need to tell you that these shapes are really random shapes. There's nothing to it besides the shape that is easy to remember. The intervals, the notes that are making that shape are not relevant here. Some might be in home, some might be outside. There's just tools to help you go outside of that home a little bit. And there are multiple shapes listed here. But for that particular shape that we have, which was this one, I could play that shape over the backing track. Sometimes it's going to seem homey, sometimes not. Here, I landed on a note that, that's pretty comfortable. That's a home shape. OK, so how do we use these shapes and how do we inject them into our, our bag of tricks to communicate something that makes sense? Well, here's the first idea, the only idea, actually. <laughs> here's the idea. We've got our scale, regardless of where you're starting from. It doesn't matter. But we've got those seven notes that are all home. In this case, E Dorian. We're going to target one of these notes. Let's pick a higher note just so that it's easier to, to distinguish. We're going to pick this note. OK, so that is part of the scale. That note right here is going to be a home note. We need to target that note. So I'm going to start the shape that we had somewhere close to this so that all I need to do is either land on this note sorry, or have to go to that note with um, just a half step down or up. So I'm basically surrounding that note that I want to land on with that shape. So I can start the shape and land on the note. Great, I'm landing home. Or I can start it a, a half step above and then slide back or a half step below. Oops, sorry. Like that, right? And I can do that with any of the seven notes of my shape. So let's target this one. OK, so great, that works too. Now, that doesn't mean that your whole improv needs to be a combination of um, uh, these shapes, right? That would be kind of out there <laughs> a little bit. We're just going to inject into what we typically do when we're playing all the personality that you have acquired by uh, practicing, we're going to inject that particular tool. So I'm going to try to phrase a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to create some sentences, short sentences, that are mostly home. And every once in a while, I'm going to inject that shape and making sure that I'm landing on a note that is home. So let's give that a try. And I start by not playing. That's important. You're kind of getting in the conversation. Let the, the backing track do its thing before you jump in. And then when you jump in, just jump in with a few simple words. That's, that's enough. OK? Very simple words. Here's the shape. Right? Well, we went outside a little bit and back home. And so forth. 
I could expand a little bit on that shape, maybe do a chromatic thing. Oops, sorry, I'll start that one again. Making sure that I am uh, targeting a note that is home. That is one shape, and there's so much, so many things you can do with that. Let's take a look at another one. So we studied this one, that shape. Again, any string, any fret, it doesn't matter. But we can reverse that. So instead of having, in this case, I'm, I'm playing on strings two, three. I'll show you a close up. And instead of playing strings two, three, four, uh, like that, I'm going to reverse the movement. So I had 14, fret 14, 13, 12. I can do frets 12, 13, 14. That's another shape. And so forth. You see where I'm going? Simple tools to help you put a step outside and go back in. Start very slowly and then eventually with uh, the, the power of rhythm, which is really the glue that ties everything together, your phrasing will sound maybe a little more elaborate, elaborate, a little more interesting without having necessarily to think in terms of notes, intervals, and all that kind of thing. It's very shaped base. If someone comes to you and what did you play there? Don't tell them or refer them. if you want if you want to tell them the secret watch this video but it, it, it's very simple really right just a few shapes so the pdf and the backing track that i was jamming over is available for you for free there's a link below uh, the first line of the description that's what you would click to get to the landing page and on that page simply enter your name your email so that i can send you the, the charts and the backing track for this lesson and you'll also be added to my newsletter but you can subscribe anytime but why would you i'm sending you more free stuff so if you like this lesson you should download this and be part of the the i'll call it a club the newsletter club the guitar playback club which is my website thank you so much for watching this video if this was your first visit consider subscribing because every monday wednesday and friday a new video like this one comes out with uh, simple concepts to help you develop your, your craft on the instrument. Download the charts and stick around. Watch the other videos I've got. Um, many lessons like this one. Thank you so much for watching this. Practice well. I'll see you next time.